Hi, welcome to Growing Crazy with Jeanette. Today we're going to talk about my new friendship plant and my acorns that I just planted from the freezer, how to plant and pro or how to propagate a spider plant, and a few other things. So let's check it all out. Here we go. Hello, welcome to Growing Crazy with Jeanette. I'm Jeanette and I'm crazy. So several things have happened. We got a poinsettia and I got a bonsai for my birthday and I planted my acorns that were in the freezer. So we're gonna check them all out. Here we go. My jade still looks good. I put different lights on her. Little colorful Christmas lights. It was my mom's birthday yesterday, so she got roses, and it was my birthday on the 1st, so I got flowers too. This is Josephine. She's still doing well. Happy plants. And we have a begonia that's flowering right now, which is crazy. But we brought her in, and she started flowering, so... Guess that guess the fertilizer I gave her worked. This is Eve. She looks good. Not too many babies. I just planted new ones. I just cut off some of the babies and made new spider plants. It's so easy. All you have to do if you want to make a spider plant is gently cut off one of these and plant this part, the bottom, where the roots are coming out. That's all you have to do. They grow so easily. Let's see. How's the water lily doing? Peace lily. Looks good. My ficus, from my friend Scotty P, rest in peace, looks really, really good. Lots of new growth. Like, even right here, there's New tiny little growth coming in. Yay. And then we've got Eden over here. She's got some of everything. She has some ivy in there. See the ivy? And Pakistan, or not Pakistan, or uh, Philodendron. And Calico. And she has a lot of babies, too. This one is a better example of, of what to look for when you want to root them. This one actually has the roots forming, if you can see. So you just take that part, plop it in some soil, and you're good to go. Oso. Oso seems frozen in time. He's not doing badly, but he's not doing well. This is the only frond he has are these these three little ones. I'm not sure what's going to happen with that, but we'll find out. Maybe he'll come back in spring. This is Suki. This is Richard Timothy with the shamrocks up top. I'm still surprised those shamrocks are still living. They're 17 years old. They were at my dad's funeral. Hence the name Richard Timothy. The palm tree is doing well. I've got a brand new branch coming out. It's happy. In here I've got rope hoya, walking sticks, or I mean sticks on fire. And back here I've got some zigzag cactus and a jade plant. And then right here, this dirt you see is for, ac there are acorns in there. I'm trying to grow a pin oak. There's another one right here. 
and right here. I'm trying to grow them. We'll see what happens. It'll take four to six weeks. I had to freeze the acorns for a while uh, before I could grow them. So it's been two months that I've been waiting to plant these. Now it's been in, they've been in for about a week. So I have it written on the calendar. About five weeks from now, we should see babies coming up. Or at least a baby. I've got plenty planted. And then Elsie. This spider plant is doing well. i got to add a little bit of water to her. Ethel. Ethel looks alright. She's kind of sparse. But she's still hanging in there. That's a sedum. This is an air plant. This is Ariel. And then down here, I have Persephone. She's another sedum, a different kind. That's a very full terrarium. Here's a sedum that's doing really well. Agamemnon. Love that name. And then in the back, there are a couple of jade. Put this up and see. See? There they are. This is what I got for my birthday. This is my new bonsai, Sigsby. It's a Chinese elm. Got its little bitty base. And I've got some lights on it. Let me try turning these lights on. There we go, that's cute. Now you can see it with the lights on. And then back here, my Fuki and T Shenley is starting to come back. She looks good. Lots of new green growth. My Juniper looks good. This is General So. One other new one that I have, this is my friendship plant that my friend Elise gave me for my birthday. Isn't it pretty? It's so cute. I hope I don't kill it, because you know, that would be sad, because it's a friendship plant. But yeah, I had a very special birthday. I had a lot of sentimental gifts. It was a good year. Well, that about does it. It was nice to see you. Thanks for coming. And don't forget to like and subscribe, and I can see more of you that way. So if you're interested, do so, and I will catch you on the flip side. See you later. Love ya. Bye.